Here's the show that loves to talk about gadgets and gizmos, from A Logic to Yamaha, cameras to control panels. You get what I mean. We love talking all things techie. In fact, that's the name of the show. And here is your host, Justin Hello, Dawson. It's Justin Dawson. It's the All Things Techie Podcast. It's episode 76 of the podcast. And what a couple of weeks it has been. If you'd like to get in contact with the program, there's the details on the bottom of the screen if you're watching us on YouTube. And hope you like the new overlays that we're trying out on our program. You can tweet me at avtechjunkies, at Justin or Dawson, that's my personal uh, Twitter, if you want to follow me there. And of course, if you're watching us on YouTube, you can find us uh, at Justin or Dawson as well for the All Things Techie podcast. How's everyone doing? It's been a busy, busy couple of weeks for the Dawson family. Um, I was over at uh, the Learning Teaching Space Management Group 2023 LTSMG. What a great uh, event that was. Um, you know what? Lockbury University is absolute massive, massive campus listeners. It is just amazing campus um all all got to do with sport like this the, i think they told us it was one of the top six or top 10 uh biggest campuses in europe uh all types of sport av- available there hotel was absolutely fantastic the food was great the hospitality was great uh great night out at uh, networking with uh AV professionals from, I better get this right, Ireland, England, Malta, France, no, France wasn't there, Ireland, England, Germany, Netherlands, and Malta. I think that's everyone. And someone from America as well that came over to uh, demo some PTZ Optics uh, kit. It, it was a fantastic event. The, like, and I got my hand on some new kit as well. So just that camera that I'm just pointing at there, the Biamp uh, camera, I'll be doing a review on that as well. Um, it's the same camera that goes into the Parl video bar. And how great is that quality? Um, if I want to put two cameras side by side, there we go. This one here, Elgato. This one here, Biamp. Really like uh, the look of the two cameras. That's the Elgato one there. Uh, and let's go back to the uh, Biamp. Yes. Uh, so really loved uh, LTSMG. Um, I'm going to get a new chair as well. I know this one is an Ikea one. Uh, I won the raffle. So Corsair, I got some really nice things like the Corsair gaming mouse here going on. And my lovely flashy keyboard. Check that out um, as well. Uh, the gaming keyboard. <laughs> um Try not to press any buttons while I'm recording this podcast as well. Um, yes, so if you're listening to us on audio, I always say that you should watch our video uh, episodes of our podcast as well. Available on YouTube and uh, love if you would give some reviews on what you think of the new backgrounds that I'm using on uh, the All Things Techie podcast on YouTube as well. Loads of things happening. Uh, Meta putting child users at risk says u.s regulator um the top u.s data privacy regulator has accused meta the firm that owns facebook and instagram of not putting proper parental controls in place the federal trade commission ftc also said meta should be banned from making money from children's data um that well you know what i actually agree with that I wouldn't like the fact that any social media platform is making money from children's data. Um, Meta hit back calling the regulator moves a political stunt and accusing it of overstepping its authority. The FTC said in an, in an independent investigation has found several gaps and weaknesses in Facebook's privacy program that pose substantial risks to the public. Users aged under 13 were found to be still allowed to engage in chats with contacts not vetted by parents. The regulator also said that Meta continued to give third-party apps access to the private information after promising to cut off access if users failed to use the apps in previous 90 days. 
uh, the FTC has proposed a series of actions, including a blanket prohibition of monetizing data of children and teens under 18. Well, that makes sense. Uh, pause on the launch of new products until they could be established they were in full compliance with privacy rules. Limits on future uses of facial recognition of technology. Meta would be required to disclose and obtain users' affirmative consent for any future uses of facial recognition technology. In response, Meta spokesperson Andy Stone said the move was a political stunt. He said Meta has been singled out uh, while allowing Chinese companies like TikTok to operate without constraint on American soil. He also accused Lena Khan, uh, who chairs the FTC, of agonising American business. Uh, the FTC's base began, uh, case began in 2018, rather, uh, after it was revealed that the personal data of tens of millions of Facebook users had been taken by Cambridge Analytica. Yes, do you remember we were talking about Cambridge Analytica and Facebook and how you can claim money back listeners uh, listen back to episode 75 of the podcast and we explain how to do that it's also as a youtube short on uh, at justin or dawson if you want to look at that as well um the regulator has looked to rein in some of the powers wielded by big tech however companies such as meta believe they are being unfairly treated are they being unfairly treated I don't really think they're being unfairly treated. Do you think they're being unfairly treated? Let us know. Uh, at AV Tech Junkies is our Twitter handle. You can also tweet me directly at Justin or Dawson. Make sure to follow us on Twitter. All Things Techie Podcast. Ex-Uber security chief sentenced to overcovering up hack. Uh, Uber's... Former Chief Security Officer has avoided jail and been sentenced to three years probation for covering up a cyber attack from authorities. Joseph Sullivan was found guilty of paying hackers $100,000 or £79,000 after they gained access to 57 million records of Uber customers, including names and phone numbers. He must also pay a fine of $50,000 and serve 200 hours of community service. Prosecutors originally asked for a 15-month prison sentence. Sullivan was also found guilty of obstructing an investigation from the Federal Trade Commission. According to the Wall Street Journal, Judge William Oryx said he was shown Sullivan leniency partly because this was the first of a case of its kind, but also because of his character. If there are more, are more people should expect to spend time in custody regardless of anything, and I hope everyone here recognises that, he said. Sullivan began his role as Uber Chief of Security officer in 2015. In November 2016, the attackers who targeted Uber emailed Sullivan and told him they have stolen a large amount of data, which they would delete in return for ransom, according to the US Department of Justice. Staff working for Sullivan confirmed data, including records of 57 million Uber users and 600,000 driving license numbers had been stolen. Um, Sullivan arranged for for the hackers to be paid $100,000 in exchange for them signing non-disclosure agreements to not reveal the hack to anyone. The hackers were paid in December 2016, disguised as a bug bounty, a reward used to pay cybersecurity researchers who disclose vulnerabilities so they can be fixed. The hackers subsequently faced conspiracy charges in 2019 and pleaded guilty. Subscribe, subscribe and don't, don't miss, miss the next, next episode. episode. All Things Techie Podcast. Now, here's an interesting one. Um, Elon Musk and Twitter. Yes, we're talking about Twitter again, guys. We are indeed. Uh, Twitter plans to remove and archive inactive accounts. Uh, Elon Musk has announced plans to remove Twitter accounts left dormant for several years. Mr. Musk, who took over the social media platform in October, said it was important to free up abandoned handles. The move has been criticised online as people fear losing access to accounts of relatives who have died. But Mr. Musk hinted that they may be voided as old accounts would be archived rather than deleted. How do you establish if an account has belongs to a deceased person? Is there is there a tick button? I don't think there is. Uh, I know there is on Facebook, but I don't I don't know it's the one on Twitter. Um, I'll, I'll I'll have to investigate into that. Um, some have some have called it a way to request accounts to be memorialized. Uh, 
but others have suggested idle accounts should be automatically archived to free up the usernames. Twitter's inactive account policy says users must log in at least every 30 days and accounts may be permanently removed if left dormant. Uh, interesting, interesting. But like, I wonder if you had an automated system to uh, to send tweets to the, to the account, would it still be counted as active? That's one way maybe of getting around it. Um, let us know what you think. Uh, should Twitter be allowed to free up handles? Is there some handles that you would love to get your hand on? Let us know uh, by tweeting us. Make sure to follow us on Twitter. All Things Techie Podcast. At AV Tech Junkies, at Justin or Dawson is my personal one. And you can also find us on YouTube. Subscribe and never miss a program by visiting youtube.com forward slash at Justin or Dawson. Um, and you find me there and you can subscribe or wherever you get your podcasts. Where do you get them? Hit subscribe and don't miss the next episode. All Things Techie Podcast. Now, during the week, Samsung bans use of AI like ChatGPT for employees after misuse of the chat box. Samsung is restricting the use of so called generative artificial intelligence tools such as ChatGPT for employees after the company discovered such services were being misused. The South uh, Korean technology giant confirmed to CNBC Tuesday that it is temporarily restricting the use of generative AI through the company's personal computers. Samsung told employees to take up precautions when using ChatGPT and other products outside of work and advised user workers not to enter any personal or company-related information into the services. Interesting. Samsung is restricting the use of so-called generative artificial intelligence tools such as ChatGPT for employees after the company dissolves such services were being discovered such services were being misused. The South Korean technology giant confirmed to CNBC Tuesday that is temporarily restricting the use of generative AI through the company's personal computers. Interesting idea. Um, Do you think ChatGPT has to be banned? Let us know. Um, I think it's something that you have to embrace. We're going to be doing a full program, listeners, on all the different AI softwares that's out there. I've I've just been blown away by the amount of different AI softwares that are out there. I um, have to mention that there will be no shows of All Things Techie for the next two weeks. I am off on holidays. Woohoo! I am going to be celebrating 40. I, I was telling some of the AV professionals over at LTSMG that I'm going to be off with the family and Mrs. Dawson and the kids and uh, celebrating 40 years. So uh, there will be no shows for the next two weeks. Uh, but do keep on commenting. Do please, please keep on visiting the All Things Techie website. We've done up the All Things Techie website where you have the option now to record messages and we will play them back in the program. Yeah, so uh, visit www.allthingstech.ie um, if you like to do some of that. And also all our past episodes of All Things Techie is available. All 75 of them, because we're on episode 76, all 75 of them is available to download. So if you're on a long flight and you don't know what to listen to, you can listen to hours and hours and hours of content of me and other guys. Do you know what? I still think my favourite programme is when the COVID lockdown hit and it's day two of the COVID lockdown, both in Ireland and England, and we had great fun, totally unscripted, I have to f- find out what show number that was, um, but totally unscripted and is up there to listen to. And I was reminding some of the guys at the LTSMG um, how fun that episode was because no one knew what to do. Do we work? Do we not work? I don't know. What What do you, What do does people want to do? We can't go outside. Okay, we have to stay inside. So we just did a Zoom call for over two hours. It was fantastic. I don't know. <laughs> of course... So there probably is video still knocking around of the AV happy hours as well. Um, I'm, I've been told that the, the computer that happened with the first AV happy hour got destroyed and burnt and, you know, never to resurface again. But I'm sure there is evidence of our AV happy hours at the time. Um, someone has to have a copy of them. I'm sure there is. Um, what else has been happening during the week? Uh, Google. Um, 
uh, Microsoft and CEOs called into an AI meeting at the White House by uh, President Biden uh, on May the 2nd. The chief executives of Alphabet's uh, incorporated Google's or Google.o, uh, Microsoft and OpenAI and Anthropic uh, met with Vice President Kamala Harris and top administration officials to discuss key artificial intelligence AI issues um, on May the 2nd, uh, said a White House official. The invitation seen by uh, Reuters to the CEOs noted President Joe Biden's expectation that companies like yours must make sure that their products are safe before making them available to the public. Concerns about fast-growing AI technology included privacy violations, bias, and worries that it could proliferate scams and misinformation. In April, Biden said it remains to be seen whether AI is dangerous, but understood. Uh, scored that technology companies had responsibility to ensure that their products were safe. Social media had already illustrated the harm that powerful technologies can do without the right safeguards, he said. The administration has also been seeking public comments on proposed accountability measures for AI systems as concerns grow about its impact on national security and education. Um, deputies from the White House Domestic Policy Council and White House Office, Office of Science and Technology Policy wrote in a blog post about how the technology can pose serious risk to workers. Uh, on the Thursday meeting was attended by Biden's chief of staff, Jeff Z Zintz, uh, Deputy Chief of Staff, Bruce Reed, National Security Advisor, Jake Sullivan, Director of National Economic Council, La Brainard, and Se Secretary of Commerce, Gina Raimondo, among others, said the White House official, who do not wish to be named the companies did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Uh, ChatGPT, an AI program that recently grabbed the public's attention for its ability to write answers quickly to a wide range of queries, in particular, has attracted US lawmakers' attention as it has grown to be the fastest grown consumer application in history with more than 100 million monthly active users. And that's just one of the AI softwares that we'll be discussing in later episodes. Uh, of all things techy, we're going to do a whole program on just all the different AI softwares that I've been playing with. I've been playing with a lot. There's ones that you can do video, um, and I'm not talking about just Adobe uh, using different AI software. There's ones to do video. There's ones I use with this podcast even to to do little YouTube shorts and everything. There's one that I came across that can actually write a full novel and do the cover art and everything. Um, I've seen someone uh, on youtube actually doing a youtube script and he said that everything that he did was through the powers of ai which was even doing the script writing the scenes the voiceovers in ai and finding the video to go with it it was a little animation video all power to ai or what about that photographer who uh, won a photography competition and just found out uh, that uh, afterwards, when he won it, admitted that I, I didn't actually didn't take this photo. Uh, it's all done through the powers of AI. That that I think is a bit worrying. When you go, it's not me. It's not this. I didn't take this photo. AI took this photo. Yes. Let let us know what you think. Uh, the details, if you're watching us on YouTube, is at the bottom of the screen. All things techie at AV Text Junkies. Uh, at Justin or Dawson, if you want to tweet me personally, and also on YouTube, where you find all our videos of latest podcasts. We not only have voices for a podcast, but also faces for YouTube. Don't miss your next episode. All Things Techie Podcast. No, no, no. Google has been doing the Google I.O. there yearly annual conference and um, some great new tech uh, coming out uh, that they have reported on um, a couple of AI updates oh come on we've talked enough about AI in this program we're going to do a whole episode of AI um, but they also the one thing that they seem to have leaked is the Pixel Fold which is a new mobile phone um, uh, to learn about the fix Pixel Fold during uh, today's event 
Uh, today being the 10th of May, I must mention, I didn't mention that, that at the top of the programme, but uh, investors and spectators are also expected to learn more about the Pixel phone during today's event. Um, some got a sc screening. On May the 4th, the Twitter account at Made by Google shared a short video of teasing of the new Pixel phone, which the company calls the first foldable phone engineered by Google. But another more descriptive two-minute video uh, titled Google Pixel X NBA, the greatest watch party, was reportedly released by Google Pixel Fold's official Twitter account and then quickly removed, but not before some Twitter users grabbed the snippets and reposted them. Um, and you're, if you're watching us on YouTube, we're playing that video as well. So I think that's going to be the highlight of um, Google's uh, I.O. conference, that the new Pixel phone. It looks actually quite slick and um i think i think they're talking about a, a tablet as well but uh we shall find out more and more information will be available on the next episode of all things techie don't forget you can visit our new website i've done a lot of work on the all things techie website to give you over 75 past audio episodes you can see some photos of different conferences and events that i have attended um including ise aes ltsmg and uh, of course you can watch back on all the youtube episodes as well it's a short podcast i know uh episode 76 because uh, we have so much packing to do me and mrs dawson and uh, get the kids bags as well because we fly out next week and i am downing all tools all tech tools i'm going to enjoy myself at the beach i'm going to uh drink some nice drinks I'm going to probably eat a lot of cake uh, since it's all inclusive. I um, have to have more drinks after that and uh, enjoy myself. And I hope you enjoy yourself too and enjoyed listening to the programme. Please like, comment and subscribe. And uh, I'll talk to you in a couple of weeks' time. See you soon. Bye. Thank you for tuning in to All Things Techie Podcast. Part of the Extreme Media Network. Follow us on Twitter at AV Tech Junkies. Subscribe to us wherever you get your podcasts. You can also watch our show on YouTube by visiting youtube.com forward slash at Justin underscore or underscore Dawson. Previous episodes of our show can be found on our official site, www.allthingstech.ie. For advertising and sponsorship opportunities, please visit www.extrememedia.ie. Thank you.